And we start with the Supreme Novices Hurdle. And Johnny, you have a Super Sunday running in this. And a 10 to 1 shot at the moment. What kind of chance would you give him? 16, uh, is it? 16. 16, 16 oh, even better. Yeah, um, give him a great chance. Um, he's very impressive at Christmas. Um, I'd be expecting a good performance, but not the one he brought to the table. Um, I appreciate Silver Concord will improve a lot for it. Um, but I think we, we will too. And uh, he is after improving. Um, I mean, he was actually at them last year. Do you think he's? I mean, that experience will stand to him. Do you think? Or? Definitely. Um, like I suppose he had a messy season last year. He was in, I think it was three different yards in the space of a season. Um, over and back to England twice. So uh, there was a, a lot, a lot to ask him. He ran a credible race in the bumper. He led to two furlongs down. Just got swallowed. Um, but with a better handle on him this year. Uh, I, people have been knocking his jumping. The way he operated over the last four, the last mile of the race in Epperson was good enough for me. And um, screws have been tightened, and uh, it's all systems go. So I mean, if I if I was to force you and say, look, I mean, the one ride you're, you're most excited about, would he be it? Yeah, I've been forced into a couple of nights now, and uh, <laughs> it's been him, yeah. okay, um, he's jumping out, jumping off the page at me, anyway. Okay, so sixteen to one, Super Sunday Johnny's ride in the opener on day one. Um, I suppose the first thing to say, Liam, is that favourites don't have a very good rec record in this race at all. We can, Main is now 15 to 8 favourites, um, albeit we're hearing different stories this week that there's money coming for York Hill, uh, connections with Main don't seem to understand why he might be a little bit weaker than he has been. What's your own view? Well, Main has been visually really impressive and there are little lines of farm that have kind of uh, boosted his farm, but really... Um, Reading his farm and the book, it doesn't kind of leap out at you. But his reputation is has kind of went before him, and he, as I say, he was visually impressive. Uh, I'm a big fan of Altior. I think he uh, that performance when he beat Open Eagle by 15 lengths. I'm sure uh, William Mullins could tell me that maybe Min could beat him by 20 lengths. I don't know, but on the track, I thought that was a very good performance. But the single best piece of farm, I think, is York Hill's win in the Tallworth. Um, the Hostel was second, came out and won, and the Hostel was third there. Agripat won that uh, very good uh, handicap hurdle doing handstands. So I think that's the single best bit of farm going into the race, but I'm conscious of the fact that maybe Min is ahead of him at home. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, 15 to 8 about Min, Ted. Um, what do you think of this horse? Well, he hasn't got the form, or he hasn't got the credentials gone over that Vatour had last year, or okay. year before, or Duvan had last year. Uh, but as Liam says, I mean, he could be a super horse. What we've visually seen, he has to be better than that to, to justify that. I like York Hill as well, too. But I mean, if Willie decides that he's, if they think he's a better horse than York Hill, he'll win. Mm. I mean, only they know that. Yeah, and obviously, Ruby, we presume, is going to ride him. Gordon, what's your view on this? I think it's an open enough race. I think Min is beatable. Um, he's won very impressive, but he's been very keen in his couple of runs. Um, I had a couple of horses second to him, and they wouldn't be good enough to even go to the start in this race for me. You know what I mean? Um, All right. York Hill, interesting to see money for him. He's tough. You know, he 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 was very good at workman. Like he, you know, he he arrived there and, and he had the gallop in the last of the line, but. I don't. Uh, for me, I don't think he bet a whole lot in in. in so you think he's too short? Then he's just too short, really, is? I mean, he's. 15, Min, yeah. I think Min is too short. I think York Hill is the horse of the beat. Albeit, I think the race in England the run of it. Oh, seven was second. I had a horse at oh seven only bet a half an enter or yeah. a neck. The next one in Muscle were. You know, he, he, he's running around Perth, so he's all summer like you know. That that's that you know. Right. So I, I don't think that was great for him, but I think York Hill is is a uh, contradict me. Say, but York Hill. I think it's the horse that could take the beating in it, and um, I think my own horse Tombstone. He's been beaten two Grade Ones. Yeah. This year he's got an each way chance. He'll be twelve or fourteen to one, and it might be the biggest field in the world, and he'll have a fast gallop. And distance wise, happy enough. Yeah, I think too much. He got outstayed the last day. Wasn't good enough. No excuse, but off a fast gallop, he, he could have each way chance. Okay. Um, Leon. I mean, Min obviously is, is put up. I mean, if, the, if this horse doesn't win, I mean, uh, there's going to be a groan. You can hear this th around the whole country as well as the Irish over there because this is th apparently the race that's going to get everybody off to the start that we want in terms of Ireland, in terms of Willie and his hot pots as well. I mean, <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, but as Ted said, I don't think <clears throat> Irish punters out there are going into this race with the same confidence that they had with Duvan or they had with Vator yeah. in this race for the last two years. <clears throat> so I think he'll be a little bit bigger on the day personally. Um, he did drift yesterday. Um, he's approaching two to one. I think on the day he might be around about the five to two mark. 
I would imagine come the first race. Um, I think Gordon's horse, off a quick pace, should like it. Uh, he didn't stay the last day, it was two and a quarter miles, but it was quite testing. He was beat by Blue A Rouge, um, who was also trained by Willie Mullins. Um, but I do like Supper Sunday. Um, I backed him in the bumper last year. He travelled so well um, for so long. And as you heard Johnny said, he did an interrupted career last season. He went from A to B to C. Yeah. He's now with the one trainer. He was good at Leopardstown over Christmas. And in an open enough Supreme Novices, um, I think 16 to 1 is a decent each way price. Um, what, in terms of uh, like a, a winner in the Shelton Festival, Johnny, just what I have here, because I remember you saying, uh, was it Briar Hill when he let him in? Just the feeling he got, even just leading the horse in, and you thought, This is where I want to be. Absolutely, like I was fortunate enough to ride a second and a third there last year, and to even get into that spot there, um, into the winner's enclosure, it's just a special feeling. Um, and I can't dream to imagine what it's like to walk back down down the shoot slowly and uh, enjoy it all. Okay, so Johnny's going for Super Sunday. You're going to stick with that as yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, Gordon, you, you think that York Hill is probably the, the form horse for, you know, in terms of the work that he's done? Yeah. Okay, or York Hill. And same with yourself, Liam yeah. and Ted? Yeah, I'd be cautious about having the bet. I might, if York Hill turns up 5-1, I think I won't be able to win. Okay.